Hi, I'm Charlie Kasoff. I'm a math teacher. And today we're going to learn the properties of isosceles right triangles. Now, first let's draw an isosceles right triangle. So here, worry about that, uh, here is an isosceles right triangle. For it to be a right triangle, it has to have one right angle. For it to be isosceles, two of the sides have to be equal, thus two of the angles have to be equal. So each of these angles is going to be 45 degrees. And with isosceles right triangles, that is always the case. With other isosceles triangles, they could be any pair of angles, but in this case, 45 and 45, because we say 90 plus 90 equals 180. So these are your basic properties of an isosceles right triangle. What is interesting is you also know that a square is made up of two isosceles right triangles, and you can cut the square diagonally to create that. Um, also, no matter what the side lengths of, or what the size of the isosceles right triangle, uh, the side lengths always have the same ratio. So for uh, this side, if this side is x, this side will also be x, and this side will always be x times radical 2, or the square root of 2. Um, it can be weird if you have uh, your diagonal as x. In that case, this will be x over root 2, and this will be x over root 2. Uh, if you need to rationalize the number, then when we say x over root 2 times root 2 over root 2, and we get x root 2 over 2. So you can also call these sides x root 2 over 2. But again, uh, the side ratio is always x to x to x root 2, where x root 2 is opposite the 90 degree angle. So I'm Charlie Kasov, and you just learned the properties of isosceles right triangles. Thanks a lot.